Hello everyone, welcome back to another mini tutorial here on Procreate. And for today's video, I just want to show you a quick hack just in case you have a brush or you're working with a brush that does not look like this or that you're working with a third party stylus that does not look like the Apple II pencil. In fact, this one has a sticker, a cool sticker that I've applied to, but it is the official Apple pencil. So to give you an example of the brush that you don't have, so this is a brush that has a bit of a tapering happening at the beginning and at the end of your stroke. So you can do stuff like this only by applying more or less pressure onto the canvas itself. So if I go really um, you know, subtle here on the canvas, it goes thin, but if I apply lots of pressure, it goes, uh, you get the brush gets thicker. So if you're working with a brush that looks like this, you're basically getting a continuous stroke, continuous width, uh, continuous width of stroke. Uh, it doesn't matter if you go soft on the canvas or if you go hard, you're always getting the same sort of brush width, okay? So if you have something like this, that is, there is a way, or you know, you're still working with a brush that perhaps even has tapering, but you're working with a third party stylus. So what you need to do is just use both of your hands. So with one hand, in this case, I'm left-handed in case you haven't noticed after all these videos, or if it's your first time here watching this channel. So you're gonna be drawing with your drawing hand and the other hand, we're just gonna ha uh, hold here on this little slider, which is the size. So this represents the size of the brush. This represents the opacity of the brush. So let's just go really onto a small amount. And as I start drawing, I can increase with this hand here and decrease. And you can do, this definitely requires some practice. This is just me trying this after like months and months without uh, practicing this technique. But if I were to do it again, you know, maybe like just something um, with a little bit of practice, you can see that it starts to get a little better. And unfortunately, you can't do this to, uh, to the opacity. So as you can see, I'm lowering the opacity uh, slider here and then on my next brush you definitely see that more transparent but it doesn't really work as you move so uh, this trick this trick only works with your brush stroke your brush size so once again just going here and you can create something really cool and now I'm just getting better and better at this technique so now let me give you another example where we can use this technique in a super cool way even using quick shapes so let's say, for example, we have this character. This is our final line work, our final, sorry, sketch for the character. And we want to actually do line work. We want to do black outlines as the, as the line work for this character. So we do have our sketch layer. So just on top of our sketch layer, I've created a new layer here. I'm just going to back, go back into my brush, the one that does not, we have the one selected that does not offer any tapering and then we could perhaps start kind of thin and, uh, sorry, let me do this again. We can perhaps start sort of thin and then increase thickness. And then if, if I hold the tip of the pencil onto the canvas, I can go into add a shape, get something super, super cool. And as you can see, we start getting line work that has that depth that offers that uh, thickness as you go, as you continue your brush stroke. So this is a pretty cool technique. I'm just gonna do a couple more curves here. So for example, let's say that we had something, um, of course I'm doing this super quick and it may or may not work, but I just wanna show you guys like the end of, uh, of this line per se. So let's say we go here and then here we keep drawing and then at the very end, I'm gonna curve it again and then I'm just gonna try to tweak this a little bit. So it's a very quick example. It's ending on a bit of a thinner line. And if I were to turn this off, you can definitely see that we start to work with this like really nice line. And this brush doesn't even offer tapering. We're just getting this live manually. Now, finally here on Procreate Pocket, the same also happens. It's a little harder for me to show but just doing a little bit of that. Um, really, you can do the same technique, but of course I'm left-handed. I couldn't really find a way, an easy way here to actually swap the UI. So for now, I'm just showing you guys that 
yes, you can actually achieve this um, if you practice uh, a little bit more on Procreate Pocket and as well if you're using a third-party stylus that uh, does not support pen pressure. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did a like, it would be super appreciated as well as make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss any of these tips and tricks, reviews, and speed paint videos. And as, all, as always, to make you a better digital illustrator. Now on the right side of the screen, there's more content for you guys to watch. One is my latest upload and the other one's a YouTube video that YouTube's recommending you to check it out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.